Welcome to our first block time video. In our block time videos, we're going to be spending our time primarily in our blocks editor. Remember, we get to our blocks editor by clicking on this blocks button in the top right. Now, in our block time videos, we're going to be focusing on adding a particular feature or some functionality to our applications. For this particular video, we're going to be adding the ability to play some audio when we click on our button. So let's jump into it. We're going to go over to our chapter one button in our components section. And we are going to drag in this when chapter one button dot clicked do block. Now remember when I talked about renaming our components, I said it would make it a lot easier to find whatever component we wanted to work with in our blocks editor. And as you can see, I think I was right, right? It was very easy for me to go and say, oh, this is the chapter one button. And I just dragged it in, right? It also makes it a lot more readable, right? When we're looking at our blocks, it says when chapter one button clicked, we know exactly what button is going to be executed here. Great, so what is the next step? Well, this block is going to allow us to respond to a click from our chapter one. Now, what do we want to do? We want to add our audio, right? We want to play some audio. So we want to go down to our sound component that we added earlier. And the first thing we're actually going to want to do is we're going to want to grab this set source to block. Remember, this allows us to set our source property. So I'm going to drag and drop this in our chapter one button dot click and you'll notice it snaps and it goes into place and then i'm going to go up to my generic blocks my built-in blocks and i'm going to click on text and then i'm going to drag this top one in here i'm going to snap it into the source block and what this is going to allow me to do is set the source of the audio i want to play so the source of the audio I want to play is going to be the name of the audio file I uploaded. So for this particular block, for this particular button click, it's that chapter one audio, right? So all I need to do is type in this text block exactly what I see here, chapter one dot wave. And you'll notice this is kind of the source, I should say, it's just looking for what we actually want played, right? So we just type in the name of the file. So this is just setting our source. Now we actually need to play it. So I'm going to go down to our sound button, or rather our sound component, and I'm going to drag in call play, right? Call sound one dot play right below it. So this is going to be the entirety of what we're going to want to do for every one of our buttons. We're going to, essentially it says when chapter one button is clicked, do, we need to set our source first. So we need to tell our sound component which audio file we want to play. In this case, it's our chapter one audio, and then we want to play it. Great. So now we're just going to duplicate this whole block structure, and we're going to have it duplicated about five times for every one of those chapters. So duplicate it once, and now we're going to change this this chapter one button to, as you probably guessed, chapter two. And now we need to set the source to not chapter one audio anymore, but chapter two. And you'll notice that corresponds to my chapter two audio, right? Right here. This was that chapter two audio file I uploaded. So now I'm just going to do this three more times for each chapter. So one, two, and three. So you'll notice that App Inventor 2 is giving me a warning sign, right? It's saying, hey, this is a duplicate component. But we're not going to worry too much because we are going to change these components a little bit. So now this one's chapter 3, this one's chapter 4 button, and this one's chapter 5 button. So now these are all individual, right? Chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But we do still have a problem with 3, 4, and 5, right? Right now, three, four, and five are gonna play chapter two's audio. So we need to make sure we link the appropriate audio in. So we're gonna say chapter three here, and that corresponds with this, rather this one, sorry. And then this one's chapter four, and that corresponds with this audio. And then lastly, this one is chapter five. So if we did everything properly, we should be able to play our audio. So let's let's check it out. I'm going to pull up my phone here. 
I have my app running, and if we did everything right, let's cross our fingers, we should hear chapter one's audio. Hey guys, this is audiobook chapter number one. How you doing? Great, so now let's check chapter three. If you enjoy chapter two, you're sure to love chapter three coming up right now. Great, so essentially, as I said, we're just setting the source of our audio before we play it for every button. Great, so that's going to conclude our block time video. I'll see you in the next video where we test our application a bit more.